Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. In this video, we are going to do the review of this 10 ampere DC current meter or ampere meter from YB Electronics. This is YB 5145 and we are going to test it with different current values and also at the end I'm going to show you how to calibrate it if it deviates from a value. And if you see in terms of size, this is almost like three times. Let's get started with this. Just open this package. As you can see, it has been checked as YB5145B and this one here at this point it has been labeled as DC and blue and the amount of current is 10 ampere YB digital panel meter from YB electronic wow this is huge and here if we compare it with this meter that I've reviewed, this has voltage and current, but this is just a current. And if you see in terms of size, this is almost like three times. So this is much larger. The length is 46.7. And this is 79.78.9. I bought this from this store. Y Wang Sen technology. This is sold, the 10 ampere version is sold $9.36 plus this $4.34 uh, shipping, which will take 50 to 60 business days. So it will arrive in 80 days. But if you want to receive it faster, select different shipping method, pay a little more. So you, you can see we have different types measuring. So you can select 200 ampere, 300, 500 ampere with shunt, or you can get 20 milliampere, or 1 ampere, 2 ampere, 3, 5, so, or even 2 milliampere, very accurate. So for lower values, I would suggest getting 1 ampere perhaps, it might be better. But you can see for 10 ampere, it, it, it can go plus minus 10, meaning we can change the polarity, and here, that is the resolution 1 milliampere and the shunt resistor that is used is 0.01 ohm or a 10 milliohm resistor this is a five digit led display current meter that can display at to up to milliampere level and the accuracy is going to test it and see how accurate it is and it can operate with different voltages. The one that I purchased is 12 volts, but there are different versions of this available, either 5, 6, 8 to 18. So, you can, so this is 12 volts, and there are AC version of it available, but this is not the one. The outer uh, width is 42 millimeters by 79.1 millimeters. But if you want to insert it in a panel, it, it has some edge. So it is 39.1 millimeters by 72 millimeters. Depth of it is 26.4 millimeters. And the digits that are used are 16 millimeter uh, seven segment display. And to open this, we just push at these two points here or from this side, but this is made very bad. When I pushed it, uh, they've already uh, bent and broken. And see here, this is already bent. Not a good quality in terms of cover. And now let's have a look at the components. Internally, I'm using my digital uh, magnifier. This is a potentiometer, this is 500 ohm, so this is 501, that one means zero, that's 500 ohm potentiometer. And here I'm using my digital magnifier to look at the components. Uh, here, this is on this side, that's uh, 
CD4052, that's a multiplexer demultiplexer, uh, this chip. So I'm going to insert it here. And the next one, TL062C, that is a operational amplifier. And this, comp this has been wrapped off totally. So we don't know what it is. And here, and here we have some jumpers. As you can see, it has labeled as 220, 200, 2000, and F. So this is now soldered at 20, but this is 10 ampere. So perhaps if we put it here, it would be for 200 ampere, I, I don't know, 200 milliampere. And this one, I just bent it. So this is 7805, that's a 5 volt voltage regulator. And these are the three jumpers here where you can set some value and then they program it. But they've wrapped this number off and here inside the LED. Let's open and see what is inside. Let me show you the wiring. Here is how you connect your battery and the load and you want to measure the current. And this is our meter. So we will put our ammeter or ampere meter in series with the load here. In this case, we are using it between the negative wire and the load. So if I turn this around and you see the other side, so the negative will come here, the positive will be connected in here. Now, because mine is 12 volts, if the battery is 12 volts, you can connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative of the battery. Because this is negative, the same negative, you can also not connect it. But I'm just illustrating it. But if your battery is not the same voltage as the operating voltage of this module, then you will connect this to separate 12 volts and leave this if it is 30 volts, 50 volts, whatever voltage it is, doesn't matter. So you can connect it directly to the uh, power supply to power this app. In my case, I've connected this the exactly the same way to my electronic load. Instead of load, I'm using electronic load and my power supply. And now let me demonstrate. This is now connected to 12 volts, and this is my 12 volts power for this, and I'm connecting it to separate voltage. It really shows uh, this is 1 ampere, so this is 14 milliampere. Even though, as you can see, the voltage is around 11 volts and the current is zero, I trust this device. This is my electronic load, where this is connected to that load where I can set any current I want. And here I set one ampere and I will turn it on. Now it is turned on and as you can see, we are reading, this is one ampere, 1.001, .001, so 1.001, .001, that's 1001 milliampere and we are reading 1012 milliampere or 1.012 ampere. Well, now I will increase the current here and you also you will see it here. Let's go 2 ampere and as you can see we are reading that deviation here. 10 milliampere deviation, sorry. Let's go 3. And it has been reduced from uh, 10 to 8. 8 
minus 1, so this is now 7 milliampere deviation, still very good, much better than many other meters. Now this is even much better, 6 milliampere at 4 ampere at 4, so let's go 5, now we are at 5, and this is now 5. So measuring at 6, let's go 7. This is now very accurate. Let's go 8. Very accurate. 1 milliampere deviation. This is also some value. 9. 2 milliampere. It's very accurate. And that is 10 milliampere. I can go 11 and it shows 11, but it is not a good idea. It might heat up, so it's not designed for that. So now I put it at 65 milliampere, as you can see here, 66 milliampere, sorry, and it shows 80. So if you are measuring lower at uh, the milliampere level, with this 10 ampere, it's not a good idea. They have different version that is made for those lower current. For example, here, uh, I can see here, if you want, you can buy two milliampere, even microampere, 200 microampere version. So perhaps if you get one ampere, you might be able to measure very good milliampere or maybe 200 milliampere. But for 10 ampere, uh, of course, this is not a good idea to use use it for that purpose, but hey, I am testing it now. So now 3.65 that shows now 366, 3661 milliampere, so 3.661 ampere, it is 3652. I've inserted 8.888 and it's amazing. Only 1 milliampere or 2 milliampere deviation here. Here it's 8891, even though I've entered 888. and it perfectly shows the current. Let's set it to one ampere. I just set it to one ampere and turn it on. And here the current is 1.001, one ampere. So you saw there was 14, so 14 plus this, 15. So 1.0015, so it shows up to milliampere, that's correct. So we are going to have a look at this issue. Turn this around and insert this here. Uh, we can use this potentiometer to fix it. Okay, use this so I can see it. I'm rotating it counterclockwise. And so, so here I fixed it. I hope that it stays. I'm not going to. Now let's go, I'm going to put here 3 ampere. I'm going to increment from here. So I'm going to increment it from here. So 12, I made a mistake and it was dangerous, it might burn, but it showed it as you saw. So, and here I'm going to increment it one more from here, and you can see now it's 3 ampere, and we are reading 2.996, 4 milliampere deviation, and still it is very accurate. 
because in terms of percent it is less very small this are around 0.1 percent so it's very accurate now let's go 4 ampere now this is 88 so 12 millivolts deviation so 81 18 milliampere deviation sorry the previous one was also ampere so we have more deviation here this is 74 so 26 milliampere deviation 25 if you count this one let me just adjust it and fix it with 10 ampere and see what happens So I'm rotating it clockwise. So I'll leave it at 10. Now let's go one down, nine. Again, we see five here because that was two or three. So two milliampere, that's good. eight seven milliampere deviation here now nine milliampere deviation at five ampere five eleven so now it's around nine so around eleven milliampere So that's very good. Let's put 20 milliampere. So in terms of milliampere, now we see we see the deviation. Uh, let's go uh, 765. So we are reading 774. Sorry, 61 and 60. That's 774. So for conclusion, I would say that with this uh, accuracy with the price, this is a little expensive. Mm, it should have been like seven, six or eight dollars, but around 15 or 18 dollars with the shipping. It has some, some is issue here with a milliampere at 15 or 20 milliampere deviation. If you are okay with it, this is a good device. It's very bright, very large, as you can see and it can be viewed from far distance and currently you see we are measuring eight and it shows very uh, precise like three milliampere deviation if i go 11 uh, of course it shows 11 but i will not continue doing it because it might harm it so as you can see it works perfectly Thank you for watching. This was the YB electronic uh, meter YB51. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. We are going to test this 
weak robot 10 ampere 100 volt dc volt ampere meter 7 to 12 volts off and this is how you would see it there is also some backlight from this and it has five digits that can measure up to 50 ampere